Hello, my name is Malika. Nice to meet you and welcome back to Trev Coast 2. So, let's continue because every day that we play more, we get near to to uh, um, welcome. Welcome. I forgot what I was going to say. So, let's see if we find something in the house before we go out. Oh, oh, this is main main thing. I don't want main thing. On the Ah no, there are a lot of main thing. Okay, let's talk with the, the main people then. All of the Empire Mayor series are under the control of the Nobel Alliance now. They've been so focused on those, they haven't had the time to deal with frontier region like ours. Thankfully this means that Ymir hasn't felt the full impact of the civil war. It does seem that way. I was relieved to see how little changed. A nice nose fall. The only real difference compared to my last visit. By the way, I see you choose not to join the Nobel Alliance. Is everything alright on that front? Well, I never wanted anything to do with the Nobel faction to begin with. There's always the chance they will try and invite me to join, but I'm confident I can talk my way out of it. I'm a little concerned that I can get in touch with Viscot Arsaid, however. You can't? What? Did something happen on the, over in Legram? Or maybe even in the Courageous? I'm afraid I can't tell you, but it's Viscot Arsaid we're talking about. He will be fine. Regardless, I'm just trying to make sure that we are well prepared for anything. Especially since our duties have expanded to sheltering Her Highness. That's true. The Alliance already has His Majesty and the Crown Prince, so it's safe to assume they want Prince Alfin as well. Dad, let me know if there's anything I can do to make your job easier. I'm more than happy to help you. Of course, I'm sure I'll be counting on you in these days to come. Still, start with trying not to rush anything. You shouldn't have to jump to thinking you need to shoulder more than your fair share of responsibility. There's only so much border than one person can bear. Do you think I'm shouldering too much? Ha, <laughs> admittedly those are Master Kafai's words that are not mine, but they get across what I want to say well enough. And whatever I think it is it or not, this is a good chance for you to get some well-earned rest. I want you to make the most of it, alright? Sure, thanks that. You won't rest, right? Okay. Stop lying, stop lying. There's nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, oh, another door. Oh, wait, the hell? Is that the bedroom of, of his dad? Wait, the camera is weird. Let me fix that. No. Wait, yes, where's camera? Camera, I think normal. Yeah, 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 now, now we good. Okay, as I was saying, is this the room of his dad and his mother? Okay, they got each one their beds, all right. Be like one bed, then another big bed and then another bed all right i'm going i'm not i'm not saying anything about your bed that let's see we got anything here oh 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 i'm like a sword <laughs> okay nothing well, i got a feeling we won't find oh teddy bears <laughs> what the hell i'm surprised there are teddy bears <laughs> Can I see the photos? Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's go. I won't be surprised if there is nothing to see here. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's go. There are no people. There are nothing. <clears throat> okay, where we need to go to a lot of places a oh, husky I'm home but uh, what a name ring what a name 
Being being welcome back by you really makes me feel like I'm home again. <laughs> it's like what? It's family stable. All right. Celine, Annalise, hi. Oh, here you are, Elise. I wasn't expecting to find the two of you together. Best friends. Well, it's quite cold outside, so I thought I'd come and give Celine some more milk. <sighs> I keep telling her that she doesn't need to go out of her way for me, but she won't listen. Oh, Celine. The steam here is plenty to keep me warm. Oh no, that wouldn't do at all. You saved my brother's life. At least allow me to try and make your stay here in Yamira a comfortable one. Celine saved my life? Uh, you haven't? You have? Oh my god, Rin. And when exactly did this happen? Oh my god, Rin. I told her nothing of the sort. <laughs> I keep trying to tell her it's not true, but she won't believe a word I say. Um, is something the matter? Nope, not a thing. I'd really rather you didn't act like I saved his life, though. Besides, if anything, I should be the one who owes you. What do you mean? N nothing. Forget I said anything. The milk's cooled down a little now, so I'm going to have some. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Thinking back on it, didn't Elise later say she spotted a cat when she went into the old schoolhouse? Right. Oh, at least save her. It not have been who I think it is. Don't give me that look. I wouldn't have let her in there if I didn't think it was safe, you know. I was desperate. You just had such a half-hearted reaction to that door, so I started getting impatient and... I can't believe you. She could have... She wasn't in any danger, honestly. The Guardian in there was designed not to attack people unrelated to the trial. Okay. You didn't touch her even when she was right in front of it, right? That's proof enough. I'm sorry, okay? I never should have done it to begin with. Emma's lectured me over and over about it, too. You're sorry? You... Oh. <laughs> um... I'm not sure why you're whispering to one another, but regardless, I want you to know how much I appreciate what you did. Oh my god. <laughs> like I said before, I want to make your stay a comfortable one. Whatever you need. Please don't hesitate to ask. We're gonna kill Salim. It's okay, really. And, um, sorry. Hmm? Why are you sorry? Well, she does genuinely seem to regret what she did. And at least didn't come to any harm. I guess I'll let her off this time. <laughs> I really do have one amazing little sister. Yeah, little sister. At least, did you hear that? Sister, just that. Okay. Compared to her, I'm. You can now view character. Okay. We knew. Uh, let's see. Next place, Emir Chapel. Oh, hey there. She's praying so intently. Thinking about it, she must be even more distressed right now than I am. Why, hello, Reen. Hi. <laughs> You're looking rather well today. Much better than you were yesterday, at any rate. I feel loads better, actually. Thanks. How about you? Are you managing all right here? I'm guessing life in a tiny village like this is harder than you're used to. If there's anything I can do to make things easier for you, though, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, not at all. I've been simply loving my stay here. Why they didn't say Oliver? The scenery is stunning. The hot springs are oh so soothing. To say nothing of your mother's spectacular cooking. I'm having the time of my life here. Everybody eats. I almost food. envy Elise for growing up in such a wonderful place. It's really beautiful. Really. I'm happy to hear you say that. Still... On top of all that, I was able to reunite with you here. Oh, and meet a mysterious talking cat, too. Mm -hmm. Not everyone gets to do that now, do they? Mm -mm. I still haven't had the pleasure of meeting that ashen knight of yours, however. 
perhaps I might have the chance once he wakes up? <laughs> I suppose I can dream. Uh, okay. Um, wait. Well, okay. Oh, Reen, putting everybody. I realize I'm the last person who has any right to say this, but there's no need to force yourself to bottle everything up and put on a brave face. I know how worried I am about my classmates, so I can only imagine how you must feel. I... I... I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to be royalty. I shouldn't be getting all worked up about something like this, but... Yeah, no. I... But you're human. Calm down, all things. Just thinking of what my family must be going through is just too much to bear. Cedric and I, we had a fight on the morning it all happened. I was planning to make up with him that evening, but I, oh. I, I... I'm sure he won't hold that against you. You'll be able to make up with him next time you see him. I'm sure that'll be sooner than you think, too. In the meantime, there's no need to force yourself to seem like being apart from them isn't bothering you. Royalty or not, no one would blame you for being worried or upset. And every single one of us here wants to do what we can to help you. I... <sighs> Thank you. I... I'm fine now. Um... I, I hope I don't sound ungrateful, but... I think you should be spending more time with Elise rather than me. This is your first chance in a while to spend some quality time together. I'd hate to take that away from her. Oh, so consider it. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's true that she's a little more dependent on me than you'd expect for a girl her age. But that doesn't mean she needs me hovering around her all the time. Then again, she did seem more shaken up than usual. Maybe you're right. I should try and cheer her up while I still can. But that's not exactly what I meant. Hmm? Oh, this is so difficult on a fair maiden's heart, I hope you know. Oh my god, oh my god, when are they gonna move on with this? Is it not? You're just making me wish you were my brother all the more! <laughs> Why? What? Okay, Alfin, I'm gonna go. I hear you were kind enough to come and see me last night, father. I just want to thank you for that. Think nothing for of it, Rin. I will always do my best to aid you however I can. You will always be a pupil of mine, after all. I'm simply relieved to see you are still well. A lot seems to happen to you in these past two months. Two months. Yeah, you could say that. He really has helped me in more ways than I can count, helping me to study for exams, giving me advice when I need it. Sometimes I feel like I'm relying on him too much, but he's so smart and helpful that I end up doing it anyway. I can see that you are quite the lost lamb at the moment, Rin, but hurrying to find a way forward is not the best course of action. First, you should reflect on yourself and your surroundings. Yes, father, he's probably right. I need to take this chance to cool my head and think about this. Yes, Rin, calm down. It's good to see you again, Lisa. Oh, Rin, it's good to see you too. I was worried about you after hearing that you vanished over in Trista. You and Luke have always been like little brothers to me. Little brothers who are going to make me go premature gray. <laughs> Sorry, don't you think I may be a bit too old to be a little brother, though? Age has nothing to do with it. I still have plenty that I want to ask you, but can wait for another time. Right now, I'm happy to have you back. Please take this chance to rest and recover. She really is the epitome of a perfect old sister, kind as can be, and always looking out for everyone. It's funny how nostalgic it feels to have her caring for me like this. It wasn't that long ago I was last here. I thought you were going to compare her with somebody. But you did. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, 
what we got here? Nothing. What is this? Phonic swings. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't think you're gonna tell me something. I'm gonna go with this guy. What's this? What's the ring you have finally awakened? I'm so very relieved to see it. I was terribly worried about you. Thanks for your concern, Mr. Baggins. Although I prefer it, you didn't call me Master Rin all the time. Perhaps so, but you always be Master Rin to me. Oh, so cute. A lot has happened here since the war began. But this is was gracefully granted to us by the Imperial family. We can allow anything to them at our spirits. You know as well as anyone to value of these walls. Please do come by wherever you are in need of relaxation. Of course. Hello. Good day and welcome to Fo Wait. R Rinia? <laughs> Rinia? <laughs> what are you doing up already? I was gonna come and look in on you, get your butt back into the bed. Uh, you think me being up will be something to be happy about? Well, it's nice to know how much you care in any case. Oh, come on, I mean after all the training you did with Master Kafai, I figure it'd take more than that to kill you. And then you got to go and train in an academy in the city. Why couldn't I go to? I have never ever had the chance to leave this village. Uh, are you talking to me or at me? You're even younger than me, it's not fair. You could have at least brought me a souvenir or five. It's like I never left home. Okay, Maple. Okay. This is the girl. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. This is the boys. Looks like baths are being cleaned up. Okay, we are not taking a bath then. Nobody here. Oh, it's urine. Your color's not looking half bad. If you were looking any worse, I was gonna have you drink some of the new vegetable juice I have been con 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 concocting. I'm perfectly fine without. Thank you. Now, how many, how many new recipes have you made since I have been away? My creativity is infinity, Rin. I'm always striving to make the finest dishes in the land. You were brushing up on your own cookie skill at the academy, weren't you? Kinda. I, I think I did like three sandwiches to be honest with you, Master Werner. Chef. Yeah, my classmate and I were cooking for ourselves at one point. Wait a second. Where my receipt books go? Did you lose it? I guess so. I had all kind of different receipts written down too. Rin, we just have like three. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you went out of your way to come and see me. I suppose this is the least I can do. Take this. Oh, thank you. Is this a new receipt book? It's a spare I had lying around, so go ahead and use it. I know how much it hurts to start from scratch again, so I threw in a receipt to try. Here are some ingredients too. Oh, thank you. This is what Elise often used to bring me while I was training. Are you sure it's okay for me to just take this? Absolutely. I'm happy to see that you came to understand the joys of cooking while you were at the academy. And besides, taking the time to enjoy cooking should help to lift your spirit somewhat. It's a simple receipt, so why not go and make it with your family? Thank you very much, then. Yeah, we know. Yeah, sometimes I do try to cook, but sometimes I don't. And sometimes I don't is the more times I do the don't than do indeed. What? Right? Which way? Echo Tappers. Let's go. Where is Toval? Where? Ah, oh, talking to Toval. You are drinking. If you've come to thank me for saving your butt again, save it. I'm just glad I made it in time. Princess Alphen and that sister of yours are the ones you should be talking to. 
You were on their minds this whole time. I wasn't in your mind. I feel. Yeah, I can tell. Heart. I really do appreciate you coming for me, though. I was pretty far out from town, so I didn't think anyone would find me. Just goes to show what bracers can do, I guess. Yeah, you should be worrying. About that. Huh? I wasn't actually the one who found you. You mm. weren't? Two days ago, I got a call out of nowhere on my Arcus. They gave me this crazy amount of detail on exactly where to find you. Then they just hung up. Didn't even say who they were. What? <laughs> Already? You're t what? <laughs> oh, I'm like, whoa! <laughs> I made it me already. I figured it couldn't hurt to go take a look, and sure enough, there you were. Ah, oh, wait, maybe, maybe Celine use Reinarchus, but why was she called Toval? Hmm, that's strange. Do you remember the voice? Wish I could tell you. I couldn't even recognize their voice. It was f female or male. Well, that's not really true. It was kind of familiar, maybe. Uh, then never mind. Eh, whatever. No use dwelling on it. But tell me if it was male right or female. Now we've got bigger problems to tackle than mystery callers. There's the war for starters. No, the mystery. This game is about knowing who called you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Have you and the rest of the guild been doing much? Well, we've been trying. We're pretty limited on what we can do, partly because we've all been split up since the war broke out. I don't even know if any of the others in Erebonia are okay, Sarah included. Come on, we know she's okay, maybe. It seems no? like things have gotten even more serious since I was away. Sure has. Not even regular civilians have been able to escape being affected by it. As it stands, the Noble Alliance has the overwhelming advantage. But the Imperial Army showing no signs of surrendering to them, particularly in a few regions across the country. I see. Oh, and another thing you might hear. What? We've been getting reports of a few Jaeger Corps taking part in the war too. Oh. Even members of Ouroboros. Oh. Ouroboros. Here we go. Phantom Thief. Ouroboros. Secret society? That's the one. Jaegers being employed here in Arabonia is nothing new, but there's way more of them here these days. As for Ouroboros, they're probably just trying to stir up trouble of their own. It's what they do best. Then there's the fact that Arabonia isn't the only place with problems right now. Crossbell's full of them too. There's so much to freak out about these days, it could drive you insane. Sorry, you've got enough on your play without me dumping all this on you, huh? Yeah, but I want to know who called you. Try saving all those bad thoughts you got piling up for another day, okay? You need to focus on relaxing. You can decide what you want to do after that. Um, sure. Thanks, Toval. You're probably right. You're just a fountain of good advice, huh? No. Oh. <laughs> I've just got a few years worth of life experience on you, that's all. Oh, and while I'm giving you good advice, why not take a dip in the hot springs? Can I do that? Could be a nice way to clear your head. <laughs> it probably would. Hasn't let me down before. Maybe I should pay a visit to the Phoenix Wings later. I did that. Maybe now it's open. I'm cleaning up the plates. Grandpa asked me to. Morning, Kiki. Everything's still the same here in the tavern? Yup, sure is. Moritz tried to give up drinking, he didn't even last a week. He's a failure of a man. I'm glad to see she's doing well, but her tongue sure gotten sharper, and it was sharp enough before. You're finally up, Rin? Good to see. Between going mission for a month and ending up on the aliens wanted list, you had all sorry, young man. I'm sorry about that, I feel awful. Nah, don't be. We're just glad you're alright. Here, take a couple of these from me. You can join them with the list later. No, no, gonna, gonna, nobody gonna enjoy nothing. That's for me. Just me. Thank you. It feels like it's been forever since I last had the chance to enjoy your cooking. He may not look the type, but I'm always amazed how well he makes this stuff. 
I remember when he used to give him Elise and me sweets, things all the time after we came home from Sunday school. Good times. Well, hey Dorif, it ain't Rin. Glad to have you back home. You're better now? Yeah, I'm fine now. I must have been exhausted. I take it everything's fine with you too. I see your habit of spending the day drinking is still intact at least. Ha wa ha ha. I'm just having a few drinks to celebrate your return home, that's all. So it's not a whole a lot of work for a wooden cutter like me to do in the middle of winter. I'm always here if you need me to make you anything though. May not be as good as carpenter or skizmon, but I'm close. Thank, I'll let you know if I ever need anything. Ymir Valley and then the Schweizer Mansion. He cleaning. What happened? Hey there, Alf. Oh, Rin, you're awake. You you doing okay? Like, are you sure you should be getting more rest? Don't worry, I'm feeling just fine. You look like you're working hard. Are you helping out at the shop today too? Hap, yep, it's the least I can do. Can't grow up to be a real man if I don't do my powers once in a while. That's what Master Yun told me anyway. Who's Yun? We just talk about Kafai. And he's right, I'm gonna work as hard as I can so I can grow up to be a real man. Kiki always gives me this weird look when I say that to her though. I see they haven't changed a bit. Hello. Rin, you're up! Hey Luke, sorry for worrying you. But as you can see, I'm perfectly fine now. Are you sure? You always say you're fine even when you're not. I can go and ask Lisa for some medicine if you need it. Well, I guess I do feel a little dizzy. That's probably more sleeping too much though. I mean, I slept inside a divine night for a whole month and all. Talk about getting your beauty sleep. I've been here about the divine night since you came back, but it still blows my mind that it actually exists. Whatever, the point is take it easy, okay? Elise isn't going isn't the only one happy to see you back home. Thanks, that means a lot to me. I thought you were going to give me medicine, but no. What's here? Shop. Oh, hello there. You won't believe who's coming in here lately. We, well, maybe you will, but none other than Prince Alfin herself. She's the sweetest little thing, the way she looks at you, her smile. I wish I could just hook her and squeeze her and never let her go. Well, they don't call her one of the country's greatest treasure for nothing, I guess. They certainly don't. Don't you worry. We will keep her safe as cat. She really seems to be making herself at home here. That's good to know. Hey, I'm glad you come over. You've been talked of the town ever since you came back. I'm just sorry I had to come back home under this circumstance. Sounds like everyone was pretty worried about me. How's the shop been? I can't imagine it's been all that easy running it with the war going on. You got that right. Getting goods in has been a real nightmare lately. I'm getting enough in for everyone in the village though, so don't worry. You count you called me right in the middle of taking stock actually. If you got any shopping to do, can you come back later? Sorry. Of course, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. I appreciate that. I, I thought you were going to give me I don't know something. Why I thought that? Because people have been giving things. I want things. I like free things. I'm I'm like why why I got the feeling there there there's something there. I'm like can we fight? No. Mom, not mom. No no, it's not mom. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how many little dastardly fishes I can catch today. I wasn't expecting to find someone fishing here. Not like there's a whole lot of monster here though, so she should be safe if she doesn't stray too far. 
and just who maybe um, I'm I'm a student from Thor's Military Academy. Sorry for disturbing you. Oh, there's no need to apologize. If anyone should be sorry, it's me for overreacting the way I did. Actually, since you are a student of Thor's, you won't happen to know a young na man named Kenneth, will you? Kenneth, I do actually. He's the yeah. He gave me a road. That's the guy. That's a wonderful news. Perhaps you may know where I could find him as well. No, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I got no idea. Really? That's not so wonderful. So you know him too? Indeed. When the war first broke out, we fled Trista together. Oh. But on the way, he told me that he had something that he needed to take care of and asked me to go on alone. He promised to meet me here in Ymir, but there's been no sign of him since. That's unfortunate. Not that I believe anything to war could possible have happened to him, of course. After all, there is nothing in this world that can crush the spirit of us anglers. When it comes to survival, even soldiers can hold a candle to us. Right. That said, you're looking a little glum. At times like this, there's nothing like a spot of fishing to cheer you up. If you know Kenneth, it's only fair for me to assume you are a fan of fishing too. A mom, in fact. Kenneth even gave me a title What Angle, I think. I don't have my fishing gear with me anymore though. Did he now? Sounds like you're still learning the ropes of fishing then. In that case, please test this. Thank you. On a roll? Eh! Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Kenneth left me in charge of some of his fishing gear. He instructed me to give them a wave I were to cross paths with any promising fellow fishing enthusiast. So go, they're rightfully yours. Ha, <laughs> that sounds like Kenneth, alright. Thank you very much. And since we got your new notebook open, I take the liberty of writing down your current title to help you keep track. You will begin as a bronze angle, judged by the same standards as any professional. I am for the top and become a fishing god. I have plenty of prize you can exchange your angle points for, so beyond being pure bloody fun, fishing should prove worth your a while. I will try and do some when I got the chance then. Right now we are like recovering, we are... yeah. We know. Let's see. Oh, I could probably fish here. Wait, we need... Never mind, we don't need to do anything. Let's go. We have spoken with everybody, so I suppose mansion time. Uh, with that? I don't know, but let's see. Nice stuff with him. Nice down. Oh, mom. Wow, that smells delicious. Wait a second, is that pheasant stew? Your very favorite? Your father said that he wanted you to have a nourishing dinner, so he went and caught one himself. Really? I'm, I, I will be sure to thank him later. Speaking of food, you got a lot going on here, it smells amazing. Well, the circumstance may not be ideal, but it's been too long since we last dined together as a family. And ever since our highness arrived, it's been so lively that I feel like I have gained a second daughter. Times like these are when a mother has to put her best foot forward, don't you think? Ha! <laughs> you really are the perfect mother. Even in times like these, you are right here, ready to warmly welcome us home with open arms. I can see that ever changing. If only I were half as good as a son as you are a mom. Oh, mom, something wrong. That's not true at all. When I had no idea what was going on with you and your sister, I worried myself sick. At times, it felt as though my chest was going to burst from it all. But believe me, that you two will come back to me safely was the key to keeping myself together. With that in mind, I could focus instead on getting this house ready to welcome you both home. Mom? 
whatever doubts you may have about your place in this family, as long as you are here in this house, you are our son. If you are ever feeling down or afraid, you can always find comfort in my arms. And then, once you have found the strength to keep going, you can pick things back up right where you left them. Oh, thanks mom. Actually, I feel a lot better now. Well, look forward to dinner tonight. And make sure you work up a good appetite for it, alright? I'm hungry, like my, my stomach is doing blah, blah, blah. No worries there. think that's everybody that should be everybody ah, ah now we go to the phoenix okay do we go to the hot spring ah master Rin, may I help you Actually, I like to use the springs. Are they open by any chance? Oh, why, yes, of course. I saw it happens cleaning was only finished not too long ago. You can have any or even all of them to your... <laughs> okay. That sounds wonderful. I may just take you up on your offer. It feels like it's been ages since I have a chance to enjoy them. Then, entrance to the right. Enjoy, Master Rin. I have never been on a steam or a sauna or anything like that. I should search one. Why? I don't know. Because I want to be Rin. If he's going to steam, I'm going to steam. Maybe I should go around and let everyone know I'm okay first. But we win. During the battle of the main story to advance. I have spoken with everybody. Well, they were just clean at a nice warm sock while enjoying the scenery sounds like just the right thing to do. I am adding words. <laughs> you really can't beat an outdoor hot spring. Feels like all the fatigue that's been building up inside me is melting away. I don't think I realized just how exhausted I was until I came in here. Still, what am I supposed to do now? Chancellor Osborne's been shot, the capital's been occupied, and now even Trista and the Academy are under the Noble Alliance's control. And then there's Crow. It was practically a joke. I didn't stand a chance against him. Even borrowing the power of something like a Divine Knight wasn't enough to fight him on equal terms. Far from it. It was hopeless from the start. I didn't realize before, but he was holding back against me the whole time. Even without that trump card of his, he could have defeated me effortlessly. And yet there was me, all happy, thinking that I'd won right before he knocked me back with a single blow. If only I wasn't so weak. If only I'd been able to hold my ground. Maybe things would have been different. Instead, I ended up running away and leaving everyone else behind. There's no point in blaming how things ended on Selene or Valimar. None of this is their fault. This is all on me. Because of that, I've lost everything. I finally found a place where I felt I belonged and people to share it with, and I lost it all. I thought my life was finally gaining some direction, but now I feel totally lost again. Reen? Hmm? Sorry if I'm bothering you. Hmm? Elise, did you want to use the springs too? Um, I... I heard you were here, so I thought that perhaps I could come and join you. Sure. I mean, I know we used to come in here together when we were kids. Then never mind. <laughs> we're a little old for that now, don't you think? I'm not so sure it's the best idea. Go back, Gillies. Go back. Please, we're siblings. 
There's no need to feel so self-conscious. Okay. And you must be exhausted after all that's happened. So I thought the least I could do was come and wash your back for you. No. <laughs> I'm like, she was like, we're siblings. I'm like, that's good girl. You get the point. That's it. You're siblings. I want to wash your back. Never mind. Never mind, at least. Never mind. <laughs> She's washing my back, right? There's no way you nothing. The water's nice and toasty, huh? Truth be told, I haven't taken a dip here for some time. I'd forgotten how pleasant it was to sit here and admire the snow. Yeah, same here. Bathing during the fall when the leaves are changing has its charms, but something about watching the snow really relaxes me. And it's plenty relaxing even without a bottle of sake in hand, despite what Master Kafai might tell you. <laughs> He's always been a heavy drinker. <laughs> to say nothing of the fact that Father can never turn down the opportunity to help him finish a bottle or three whenever he visits. Can he visit? Um... I'm sorry. You came out here because you were worried, didn't you? Oh, oh no, not at all. That wasn't why I came here at all. It's just that... You're not the only one. It's like everyone I meet has to go out of their way for me. It's how things have been for my whole life. How everyone feels like they have to be around me. What do you mean? It happened the day Dad picked me up in that blizzard 12 years ago. Yeah. It happened the day when I lost control and scared you eight years ago. It happened the day Master Kafai cut short my years of training. It even happened only last month when everyone risked their lives so that I and I alone could be saved. That's not... <sighs> Looking back on my life, I've been too fortunate for my own good. All I've done is bask in the kindness of everyone I know. Given nothing worthwhile in return. Come on, Rin. On the contrary, I've brought nothing but misfortune to them instead. Like I'm some kind of curse. <sighs> I, I don't have the right to be treated kindly. I don't deserve to have others putting themselves out for me. Not when I seemingly can't do a thing to return that kindness and am too weak to fight for them when they need it most. None of this should have ever happened. If I'd known it would, if I'd known things would ever become like this, then I'd never have gone to the academy to begin with. Stop. Do you seriously mean all that you've just said? I... Uh... The right to be treated kindly? And who exactly decides who has that right, whatever that's supposed to be? Uh. I don't look out for you because I expect something in return or because I want you to defend me. Acts of kindness aren't debts to be repaid. Lear, Rim, Lear. I look out for you because I care about you. Because you're important to me. Because he's your brother. And I'm sure that mother, father, master Kafai, your classmates, and all of your other acquaintances feel the same. So please, from the bottom of my heart. Please don't say that you don't have the right to be treated kindly. Oh, Alice. Of course you do. You just don't realize it. You care so much about the people who matter to you. So why can't you understand that those people care just as much about you? <sighs> Think back to that day when you were separated from your classmates. What kind of expressions did they have when you parted from them? They... <sighs> No. Mm. <laughs> they were smiling. They all believed that we'd see each other again. That no matter what happened along the way, we'd all be reunited. And that one day, We'd move forward together as a class again, just like we did before. 
Maybe there's nothing wrong with feeling lost and impatient from time to time. I believe in all of them. And if they see me as worthy of their trust, then I'd like to try and believe in myself, too. We're classmates. And more than that, we're friends. So long as I keep moving forward, I'm sure that somewhere, someday, our paths will cross again. I... I think so too, Reen. Thanks, Elise. I feel like you gave me exactly what I needed to- Aww, oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't need to thank me. I didn't do anything. All I did was remind you of something you already knew. It was your time at the Academy that gave you what you needed. <laughs> I admit, I am a little envious of your classmates, though. <laughs> Aww. Still, I'm really thankful to have you in my life. I might not be the most dependable brother in the world, but I'd appreciate it if you kept looking out for me. And while it might be a ways away, I'll keep striving to be an older brother you can be proud of. I'm always proud of you, you know? And of course I will. <laughs> I see all's well that ends well. Oh, Celine! Y your Highness? I'm Celine. And you've brought Celine, too. <laughs> <sighs> Hope you don't mind us barging in. What brings you here? I'm Celine. I heard that you were both here from Toval. So I thought I might come along and see how everything was going. Besides, how could I pass up a chance to help cheer up Reen? And oh, what a heartwarming sight I happened to stumble upon during my humble quest. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> Considering you were waiting for the perfect time to make your grand entrance, stumbling <laughs> is a stretch. <laughs> you were waiting? Were you listening in the whole time? <laughs> Elise. Have you ever known me to be so unladylike? But I see you've done a fine enough job for the both of us. Oh, the bond between siblings is truly a miraculous thing. Not only do you share an unwavering kinship, but you always have the tender embrace of skinship within reach. Skinship? I'm so jealous. What's going on here? <laughs> I appreciate your concern, though. Still, Elise is one thing, but I'm not entirely comfortable sharing the springs with you, your highness. Oh, come now, Reen. This is the bath. Ranks are stripped once our clothes are, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. That being said, may I join Elise in washing your back as well? What the hell is going on? <laughs> this would make the perfect chance for us to finally strengthen our bond as honorary siblings. <gasps> Wouldn't you agree? I bring you around. Your Highness, please. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Good read. Good. I'm sorry, okay? Oh, Celine. You know, things. I'm not exactly all that cognizant of human feelings and the like. Emma often points out as much. But thinking back, I have done some things that were probably quite insensitive in your eyes. <laughs> Look at you. Oh. Oh! <laughs> if anything, I should be the one apologizing. I shouldn't have taken my frustrations out on you like that. Can you forgive me? Why would I need to? Ugh, I really don't give you some times. Oh, come on. That sounded like the golem. I know exactly what that was. It's that magic knight we ran into on the way down the mountain. Why are you calling him golem? I had a feeling Toval's art wasn't enough to finish it off. But the fact it's still active isn't the only problem. It sounds like it's coming this way. Can I have a party member? Celine, you want to be my party member? Okay. Okay. 
You're certain then that this magic night something or other is coming here. I'm certain I can sense its mana moving toward us. It's still a far distance away from now but it's getting closer by the minute. It's coming from the direction of the valley behind the village. Bah, I thought I'd finish it off but I shouldn't have made sure. I didn't think anything could survive that fall but if anything could it'd be one of those things. No, you did what you could, you shouldn't blame yourself. Still, why will it co be coming here? My guess is because you're here. Or more specifically, because the Ashen Awakener is here. It's after Rin. So these magic knights may have some connection with the divine knights. Well, that makes this easy. If it's after me, then I should be the one to go out and stop it. But you have been putting yourself in danger. I'll be fine, I won't let it get anywhere near the village. And in a way, I have to. If I can do this, what hope to do I have of getting class 7 back together again? Well, sounds like your mind's up made up. And you appear to have recovered enough in my eyes. Alright then, I have no objections. Well, we have all of the village ready to evacuate as a precaution. Take care, Rin. Thanks, mom, dad. Let me come with. Yes! I thought I could compare to Sarah, but I ain't too shabby in a fight. You are a bracer. Come on, Dava. Really, thank you. I feel a lot better having you around, honestly. Okay, so Toval, Celine, you guys are almost ready to head out. Actually, if you don't mind, Rin, I would like to come with you. What? Okay, you come in if you do healing magic, but I'm not coming to defend you. You would. Elise. This is not an opening to be taken lightly, a fact I'm sure you're well aware of. I fully understand the dangers this will entail. Combat etiquette is imperative to calling on self a noble. I'm not familiar with the sword style of- Oh! Oh, she fighting! Oh! You have trained me yourself, Rin. Oh, <laughs> at least you are ready to make me blow my mind. You're certainly that this is what you want to do, at least? Yes, I am. My brother has chosen his path as his sister. I feel I have a duty to support him. Not only as his sister, as a daughter of House Swager. I have every intention of doing whatever is within my power. My how you have grown. Indeed, as your father, I couldn't be more proud. Take her with you, Rin. I have plenty of faith in her ability as a swordsman, but I also think she will keep you from doing anything too harsh. Ha ya ya ha ha. Dad, come on. I don't think you got anything to worry about. She's stronger than you are giving her credit for. Like your dad says, she, she knows her way around a sword, and she's pretty good at using her. So she. she oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> she saved me and her highness from one more than a few thought spots on our way here even. That she did. And I'm sure she will be capable of even more with her beloved brother at her side. But still, hold on, since when has Elise had an Arcus? Oh, left that phone detail out when catching you up, didn't I? Prince Oliver... Oh my god, Prince Oliver always thinking ahead. That's my uh, uh, cousin. Brother, brother. I want him brother. Yeah. Give me a couple of spares, actually. And I had a bunch these two will have a knack for them with a bit of practice. So I should end the ropes on the way here. <laughs> really? Like, I know you are against her coming with us, but we really don't have much time here. And it's pretty clear that nothing you say is going to change her mind, so I think it's time you give up and we got going. Ugh. Fine, you can come too, Elise. But don't even think of doing anything that would put you any further in harms and way than you need to be. Promise, okay? I promise. Alright, let's start getting ready then. If either of you need to do anything last minute, get it done now. After that, we'll make our way for Ymir's back entrance. Oh my god, oh my god. Look at her! 
I'm gonna die tomorrow. Oh my god, Elise! Oh my god, this is happiness! <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna let it to before we go. There we go. Now we're talking. I was like, their voices, but now I fix it. I, I thought the configuration I did on my last game. I don't know. Why I was thinking that, I don't know. Do, oh, now we got more than one costume. Customization costume thing. Yeah. Oh my, oh my. I cannot believe this. Let's move. I, I wasn't waiting for this. Ah! <sighs> ah okay, guys. We're gonna let it here. And tomorrow we're gonna have an epic fight using Elise and Toval. And yeah, I'm ready. Ah! Mm. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next one. If you guys want. I don't know. Myself in